I was uh, watching on one of his many streaming channels a movie a few weeks back, and knowing that I had communion meditation, I began thinking about what can I share with you that, that the Lord would want me to uh, impress upon you about communion. And uh, during the movie, uh, although it was not the, the plot of the movie, uh, one of the church members in the movie speaking with the pastor about struggling with this idea of faith, that she cannot see Jesus, she cannot hear Jesus, but yet um, he expects us to have faith. And so the pastor uh, works through some of that. And that reminded me of a verse uh, that talks about faith. And if you uh, don't have to turn, but probably many of you know it uh, from the love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13. The very last verse says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And earlier in the chapter, it talks about Love is patient, love is kind, it is not envy, it is not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Love never fails. And none of those things that love is can be touched or seen. So I want you to imagine if we go back a couple thousand years, and Jesus is with the disciples at the Last Supper. And he knows that he's going to ascend to heaven and not physically be here, even though his spirit will be here. He will physically not be here. And I began thinking that he leaves behind something that allows us to see him every Sunday, week after week. Many of you know that I'm very uh, um, adamant about taking communion weekly. I think that's what the Book of Acts teaches us. I think that's what the Lord uh, wants us to do. So every week... Jesus has set up this idea of the wine, the cup, the bread. So imagine 2,000 years ago, the clinking of wooden utensils as they're sharing, or maybe the pottery, the ceramic, the wine. Imagine the smells of the unleavened bread, if there is anything like that. I couldn't fill the auditorium with the bread smell, so I tried to work with me on this one. But imagine the auditory noises that they're hearing, the conversations of the fellowship, the smells in the house that they're meeting in, as they're holding these elements, that they're feeling them with their fingertips, that they're smelling the aromas, they're seeing these elements, they're seeing others participate in the same activity. When I was a young child here, many, many years ago, uh, I was asked to help serve, and one of my fears was it was so quiet, I didn't want this to happen. As you pass the plate, right? We would all be nervous about that noise. Who's going to be the one that clanks those uh, trays together as you pass them? But that was an auditory reaffirmation that Jesus exists. That's how we can hear Jesus. As we held the elements in our hand, we're holding a, a symbolic representation of Jesus. As we smell the grape juice in the cup. Uh, even today, and hopefully this worked earlier, right, Dave? Even today, Jesus not necessarily promoting foil and wafer and, and a cup. As we take communion every Sunday, if we all hear this, right? We're, we're hearing Jesus. We're feeling Jesus as we hold the cup. We're smelling the grape juice as we contemplate how we are as a, as a Christian, as a follower of Christ. We're hearing all these other people participate in the same activity. So our five senses can be used to experience Jesus every week. Even though we may not physically see him, we're seeing a representation of him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for communion. It was so wise back then to give us something that allows us to see you and hear you and feel your presence, Lord. Even though we may struggle with faith, Lord, we know that communion brings us back to you, allows us to reconnect with you. Uh, you died for our sins. This communion reminds us of that, Lord. And I pray that your spirit be upon us and give us that peace, Lord. We pray that the monies that are collected help expand your kingdom, uh, both here locally and uh, throughout the world. We pray this name, Jesus, amen.